Yo, what is up, YouTube? It's your boy Nahid, back to watch more Bleach. This is Bleach 51. I read on Anime Filler List that 50, 50 is a filler, so I have skipped that, and we are on 51. We're moving right along, y'all. Uh, last episode, we kind of got, you know, we, you know we, we, we know what happened to Ganju's brother, and uh, it was, uh, I mean, it just sucks. Right? I mean, it's just terrible, man. At the end of the day, you know, Rukia had to make a choice that she didn't want to do, obviously, and now she's getting the, 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 the brunt of the bullshit, you know, the brunt of the blame, because, you know, she was the one that Ganju saw at the end of the day, what happened. Uh, it sucks, fam. You know, it ain't an easy thing to fucking stomach to, like, lose someone like that and then get blamed for that shit, too. You know, it's just, it sucks. It does. It does, it does, it does. But, hey, man, uh, we are continuing right along with the series. I'm, uh, like I said, bro, I'm just having fun back here with the show, man. It's a fun show. It's a great show. It's, uh, it's good times, in my opinion. Good, great times, in my opinion, you know. Great, great times. But, hey, this is Bleach 51. You know, I'm ready to get the show started. You guys know all the uh, the hoopla and all the announcements, you know, Patreon and and just, man, just watch with me, bro. Subscribe and shit if you haven't, dog. It's maybe the day of her execution, I think, right? Yep, that's the day it is, man. Like, they, are, you know, they got her prepared and everything. What the hell kind of a sound is that? Kenpachi. He going to the execution with Orihime on the back. There goes Ikaku. If you two are gonna goof off, try not to be so obvious about it. Just which way am I supposed to go now, woman? It's probably that. Ah, this way! That hurts! What was that for, Yachiru? The lieutenant is not exactly known for her accurate sense of direction. That's Perhaps funny. You should shut up, Cubal Head. That's pretty hilarious. Oh, I'm gonna kill her for that. Oh, man! Hey, come on, keep Sorry, that's what he looks like him. I'm just gonna go with my instincts. Oh, That's an excellent you plan, know, sir. Kenny, we'll follow you anywhere. You're the best. You're the best, Kenny. A little butterfly just flew into the room. Does this mean that it's spring in the Soul Society? Mm. Oh, Who knows? Great. Now he's seeing butterflies and talking to himself. Oh damn. Where do you get off calling me by my first name? You're nowhere near a close enough friend for that, and if you're gonna make insulting comments about chasing butterflies, then you never will be. Hey, yeah. who said I wanted to be friends with an oddball like you in the first place? Part of the Shiba clan legacy to always reach out in friendship, even to those who don't deserve it. What kind that's, of a good, that's a good one. That? I like that. <sighs> don't you hear that? Mm -hmm. I'm sure it's just some kind of local parade or celebration or something. No, there's a bunch of fucking dudes so? in, in Orihime. There you go. <laughs> He's just that guy. He's just that guy, right? I remember your stupid haircut and your massive ego. I wish I could say the same. Orihime. Orihime? Yachiro likes fucking teasing Orihime. It's kind of funny. This is, you know, this is the camaraderie. It's pretty, the camaraderie is hilarious all the time. Yakuya, sir. It is almost time, Master. Very well, then. Don't leave for the Sokyoku. I'm off now. Why is he looking at a picture of his sister like that when you know she's about to die? It's like, does he have feelings? I'm trying to figure that out. Like, it doesn't look like he does. Who's this cool guy? Somehow I fell asleep sitting on the toilet and I'm late arriving to assist you. Please allow me to kill myself as punishment. Never oh, wow. mind that. Call me yourself, Tetsu Zayamon. Everything is fine. <laughs> Who's this guy? All the preparations have been made. Captain what? Uh, I mean... Huh? You needn't take the blame for everything, Tetsu Zayamon. Huh? Tetsu Zayamon. Well, thank you for saying so, sir. You're worried, aren't you? He looks like a knight. Do not worry. I have no doubts. My loyalty and dedication to Captain Yamamoto are absolute. He was the only one who believed in me. Why would I not spend the whole of my spirit to repay that debt to him? I have no doubts. If he should ask, I would give my life. How about you, Kaname? I believe that you and I walk the same path, Sajin. Seen Sajin? Okay. Kaname and Sajin, I remember his names. 
wasn't bad enough with these Ryoka sneaking around and then some kind of murder. Is that one of the Jirobo brothers? The captains and lieutenants all arguing about whether the execution is legit or not. Idiotic. Huh? I have no interest in who's right or wrong. I kill enemies. You had best remember where your loyalty lies. If you cross me or try to get in my way, then you too are my enemy. Hey man, that makes sense. That does. Yeah. Well, I'll be sure to remember that. This guy. What are you doing just lying there? Get up! You see, I put this blade of grass in my mouth thinking it would relax me. The more I chew it, the more I can feel it burning the inside of my mouth. Try spitting it out! Let me ask you, what do you think I should do? It doesn't matter what I think, and we both know that. Please ask for your opinion. Regardless of any advice I might give you, you'll just go right ahead and do what you were going to do anyway. I'll be sure to walk several steps behind you when we get there. That way I won't get dragged into whatever trouble you cause. That means I'll be on my own, and old man Yamamoto will blame it all on me. Mm. <laughs> man, Yamamoto must be like the G. Like, he must be like the, the, the bee's knees McGee's strong dude, you feel me? Well, that's what I'm thinking right now. Another dead end. Well, let me explain. They're all in like the Reaper of Kakahuishukyo outfit. That's what it's called? I think so. What would you expect to happen when you follow someone around who has no sense of direction? Ah, someone get this creature off me! That's hilarious. <laughs> That's funny. Captain. Yes. Show yourselves. Who is it? Damn. Okay, his name is Komomura. What are you doing with these Ryoka? Captain Komomura. And Captain Tosen. Captain Tosen. They Sagi? And Lieutenant Hisagi. I only see the whole names. Don't get your panties in a twist. We still outnumber them almost two to one. Even taking these guys on four against one won't give my blade much more than a little practice. Damn, he's talking a lot of shit. Four to one, you say? Though your strength is well known, Captain, it is no match for your excessive self-confidence, as you will soon learn. You talk too much, Saji. Saji Kamamura is his name. And the four of you had better attack at the same time. Damn, if you come at me from all four sides, then one of you might actually be able to wound me. Damn, he's talking a lot of shit. What'll we do, sir? Sit Go. back. You'll just get in the way. You catch up later, okay, Kenny? I'll be right there. Damn. Muscles, jiggles, monkey, pencil. Let's get going. Did they call Rihime Jiggles? Alright. Damn. Allow me and me. Let the two of us go first. Captain. He was the guy that was in, uh, involved in that uh, that mess with the students. So little of us you would send and only your lieutenants. What an insult to our captain. Why didn't you two clear out along with the <laughs> I told you? Listen, you've got a lot of nerve to think you're too. Yeah, these guys definitely don't get along with each other, man. The captain, a lot of fuckery. I've been saying that. You should be happy just to have me as your opponent. Right? All right then. Go. I'll give them over to you, but take it somewhere else so you don't get in my way. You certainly have gotten pretty cocky since the last time I saw you, Ikaku. You're going to pay for that, Ikaku. Well, if I do, it won't. They do be saying their names weird in English. I have no desire Ikaku. to be killed by our captain. All right then. We can finally get down to business. Of course, your number has been cut by half. This will probably be no more of a workout than my morning exercises. And oh. still you A lot of shit talking. Here I come. <gasps> Kenpachi, what you got for us, bruh? I will break all his limbs. So we'll tell some guys. Damn, fam. He got a lot of his, got magical powers with this shit. Real talk, it's like magical sometimes. I'm serious. Like, look at this shit. It's over. Shit, it ain't over when fat lady sings, bro. Zaraki could have survived such an attack. He's fine. Ha. That's all you got. Damn. All right. Impossible. He ain't worried. Tenken. Benny Hiko. How can he still be standing? Oh dear. Forget what I said before. My morning exercise is tougher than this. All right, man. A lot of shit talking. Let's get to the fighting. 
Okay, Renji and, uh, all right, let's go. Well this is the training. I guess I'll be going. It's so cold up here, shit, dog. It really is cold. It's like fucking freezing, dying. Gosh, he's so good looking, bro. Tell me the truth, Yoruichi. Do you still think he's going to be able to do this because we're out of time? Can he really reach Bankai today? He could. He could. He could. Do you remember the first time when you were a child that you stood up and walked on your own? What? Mm -hmm. Of course not. No one remembers anything that early. So how did you know how to do it? It's because of what we call instinct. Okay. All living creatures use instinct to obtain their natural powers when the time comes that they need them. I think he knows instinctively, somewhere deep down inside, that he has that power. He will be the one to reach Bankai. Okay. Okay, makes sense. Another good episode. Definitely, you know, they were kind of moving the story along. You know, I will say that the showdown between Kenpachi and Zara uh, <laughs> Kenpachi Tozen and uh, Kaka something, Kaka something hero, man, I forget his name. His name is Saji, I know that. Saji is his first name. Uh, like I said, bro, the guys, these names, Tenzu, Zam Z Tenzu Zaman, I gotta get to, I gotta figure them out, man. You know, there's a lot of them. Also, I'll be weird. I, mean, I don't like how they say it in English, bro. I just, I just don't. It's just weird. It is weird. I'll be real with you guys. I get it. It just sounds so, like, fucking weird sometimes. It does. It, it really does. I'm just being straightforward with you guys. But for watching sakes, I'm probably going to continue to keep being in the... Oh, shit. I got another fucking patron, Pardeep. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, brother, man. You don't understand what the patronage means to me, man. Like, for real, bro. Like, hell yeah, man. That means the world back here. I mean, straight up. Thank you, Pardeep. I really appreciate that. I'll try to shout y'all out whenever I see y'all pop up because at the end of the day, man, this is a struggle and I'm doing the best I can to keep my head afloat. You feel me? And, uh, you know, keep this shit rocking, bro. And like at the end of the day, bro, this is all I do. This is literally all I do. I react for a living. You know, it's a it's a it's a career that I have chosen that I just don't know where it's going to end up. You know, I could have went the safe route, gotten a real job and shit after I left the other company. But uh you know, I wanted to do what I love doing, and I love reacting. This is my favorite thing to do in the world. I love to sit here, watch TV with you guys, and hang out and talk. And guys like Pradeep have allowed me to continuously keep doing this, and I appreciate that. I hope my reactions and everything I'm doing back here, it's worth the money you are spending on me, you know? And uh, yeah, man, it's, like I said, it's, I love it. I love watching with all of you guys. You guys are the best. You guys will always be the best for me. Thank you. Thank you for, hey, like I said, Thank you so fucking much. That's the only thing I can say, right? Thank you. So, uh, yeah, man, you know, I, again, the episode is just getting to the point of just like, wow, am I, you know, I mean, like, I mean, I feel like we're gonna be hitting some really good wow points here soon right now, you know? Right now, we're just kind of, just kind of sort of going through, I guess, I guess preparation, that's what it says in the, in the, uh, in the, in the fucking whatever, in the synopsis or whatnot. But that's what is going on right now. We're getting ready for Rookie's execution, you know? We needed to have some stuff in between, I feel like, to get there. Uh, but one thing that is known as Kenpachi is he's, I don't think he, the man picks side. I think he picks what he wants to pick. And I think he's with Ichigo, you know, he's trying to figure out what's going on. I think he's a good dude at the end of the day. Am I, you know, I'm just from what I'm just looking at right now. Um, and I, again, I said it before, like all the captains, I feel like they have their own motives. They have their own ways of doing things. Some are, have a higher, keep using this word all fucking name, moral compass than the other ones. And some are very much by the book, like Byakuya, in my opinion. I think he's very much by the book. He's very much by the way it's supposed to be done. He doesn't answer any fuckery. Sui Fang is one that we met earlier in this one. I think she's the same way, too. She's kind of about the mission, how the mission goes more than anything. But the other captains, I feel like they're just, they do as what they seem is right at the moment, you know? Which is crazy. And it's, you know, it just, it adds more depth to everything, you know? I think Yamamoto is like the oldest guy there. He might be the head of him. And I don't know if he's like a president type deal or is he just one of those guys that's like the head that kind of takes the ideas of everyone else and we maglate and come up to a decision, you know? Ikaku, I forget the other kid's name with the fucking whatever. They're hilarious, you know? Um, I, I do think what we're seeing right now is more of these other secondary characters becoming more of like, not the main character, but more characters that we're going to see a lot more of. You know, because I thought when we, were, when we were done with Ikaku, we were done with Ikaku. I thought when we were done with Renji, we were done with Renji. But there's a lot more depth to these characters. And I think we're going to see them slowly get flushed out, you know, one by one. You know, Renji right now is, you know, he's, you know, like I said earlier, I, I have suspicions about him, about Renji and, uh, and, uh, and uh, uh, Rukia. Because, like, you know, they grew up together. I feel like there must be some kind of bond they have, whether it be brother and sister or whether it be romantic, 
something of the sort. You know what I mean? Because they grew up together, man. They have these feelings for each other. They will always, you know, he, Renji has felt some type of way this whole entire time about, about Rukia, you know? Um, Ichigo, I love that when, when, what, what she said at the end about his training, um, about instinct and how Ichigo has that instinct. And that's how he's going to reach Bankai. It makes a lot of sense because, you know, he's, he, he's, and I've always been like, oh, how do you get all these powers? But like, you know, this whole entire time he's been this kid that's been fighting. He's been, you know, he's, he's been, you know, him and Chad had, had each other's backs for the longest time fighting and doing all this great stuff for him. It was kind of like shooing for him to be in the position that he's in right now. You know what I mean, fam? But yeah, that's, those are my thoughts, as I would say. But let me kind of go through the episode. You know, like I said, the captains, they feel some type of way about this execution. Like, there's, there, the opinion is, is across all boards, I feel like. You know, that's one thing that I've come to realize that right now, that, you know, they all do think for themselves. I've said that before, saying it again. Uh, Kachiru is hilarious, spitting and doing all that stuff. I love how they went for uh, Ganju and the crew first to see what that, what's going on with them and getting them out. I, I think he, they're getting them out. That's what, but I didn't see them at that one moment. Tenzo Zoom, man, I cannot say that man's name. And this guy, I forget, Sa Sajin, who has the uh, fucking Knights of the fucking whatever armor on his ass. I wonder what he looks like. Right he really likes Yamamoto. That's his dude. He's like, yo, I've pledged my allegiance to that man. And uh, pretty much I've seen that. This guy, I forget his name so quickly, but I know that girl's woman, the name is Sui Feng that we saw, and she's more about the mission more than anything. Straight up says, hey, you bug my loyalty, man. I'm killing you. Loyalty is huge, fam. When that shit goes, it goes, bro, you know. Then now the, hits, the other captain, I forget his name, man. I forget his name. The guy with the straw hat. I didn't even remember these names so much better. I would write them down, but I fucking hate writing shit down. It, it turns into goddamn homework after that. Like I said, they're all headed somewhere. Oh yeah, no, no, they are with them. I forgot. They're wearing the fucking the Katsuhu Hikushu, the the black outfit, which I think is so sick. By the way, I love their little black that little black outfit. But yeah, man, you know, Kenpachi's pretty much like, yeah, I'll take all four of you guys on, and he's a fucking behemoth, bro. If if Ichigo was able to beat him with Zangetsu, that means like Ichigo is a behemoth as well too. But Kenpachi, I just feel like he hasn't awakened his behemothness. Like he hasn't awakened his Zanpakuto yet, and when he does, I think that's when I think that's when we will see the true Kenpachi Zaraki, because he's. He's fucking nuts, bro. Like, they went at him full force, I feel like, Tosin and fucking uh, Sajin. And, like, yeah, man, it didn't, didn't really do much. It did not do much at all. Uh, I kind of want to see the fight between Ikaku and that one guy. And um, Tenzo, Zaimon, and, and that guy was the 6'9". I forget his name, too. I didn't even remember these fucking names, man. It's just it's too much, dude. I'm not going to lie. It's too much. And they don't say it correctly, and it just kind of sucks. Yoroichi, that little speech at the end, I get it. I can see in, him getting that because of his instinct. I hope it happens, but I know Renji right now is on the way to go see what he knew about Rukia. Uh, yeah, man, I think that's pretty much it for this episode, guys. I'm going to move on to the next one so we can get things going. I love you all. Like I always say, take care of yourselves, your families, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace!